Young and the Restless fans, yes, we are back. It is Friday. We have one episode as this week ends, and yeah, we got to talk about it. First, we see Phyllis striking a deal with Tucker. Heather now takes over Phyllis's case, and guess what, you guys? Phyllis finally turns herself in. Welcome back to CBS Soap Dish Recap, where we recap everything CBS Soaps, both the Young and the Restless and the Bold and the Beautiful. This is your Young and the Restless Recap for July 14th, and without any further ado, let's talk about what went down in Genoa City today. So let's start out over at the coffee house as Chance arrives and Summer is telling Chance that her mom wants to turn herself in. Summer thinks that when she does, this nightmare will finally be over and it'll be all okay. Uh, honey, it is just the beginning. Now Chance told her that they both have different definitions of that word. Chance thinks something is obviously up, but Summer claims, look, she just wants this to be over. She finally admits that she was the one that destroyed her marriage and not sure that she should even be forgiven and i'm telling you you know i understand you want to beat yourself up but hey you did create this mess you're getting everything you deserve and hopefully we'll have to see what happens with your mom now she wanted to know from chance if he's forgiven abby and he told her look it's a process but i can tell you chance yeah you and Kyle, yeah, that's two different people. Oh, Cricket walks in and she sees the two of them talking. She asks Summer and Chance, uh, what's going on? Chance tells her that Phyllis might just be ready to turn herself in now. Now, Christine is thinking that something is up as well. I mean, obviously, because her turning herself in, she's been on the run for the last four months. Both her and Chance think the same thing. So, you know, obviously they know who they're dealing with. So now we're over at the GCAC where we see Phyllis is there and she walk into the room and meet Carson. Now she claims she didn't even know Michael would find him so fast. Tucker shows up, shows himself, and says that he's her miracle worker. I don't know about that, Tucker. That might be a stretch. Now, he tells her that he was her one shot of staying out of prison. Now, I wonder, how you gonna guarantee that, Tucker? Really? He tells Phyllis that he will support Carson's mom while he does prison time. Now, wait a minute. She was the one that unalived the man. He just witnessed it, but he's going to jail and he she could get out. Uh, okay. Phyllis is still confused, wondering why Tucker is even doing this. Tucker told her that he is putting her in his debt and he's paying Carson off, saying everybody has their price and he can all make it disappear. Now, he told her about getting engaged to Ashley and them wanting to strike out on their own and take Ashley's patents with them and grind your bow into the ground. I guess so much for Ashley caring about her dad's business. Now, Tucker also told her that they want Diane out of the way and off her game. And this is why I wanted Diane to actually resign with Billy's advice. Phyllis, on the other hand, back to her, this is how you got into this mess. I mean, signing deals with scandalous people. Phyllis says that she won't help him destroy Jabot because, hey... Her daughter's company is under that umbrella. She, like, she cares. Your daughter's marriage is in ruins right now. He tells her that Summer is just going to be all right. And she has to just annoy the heck out of Diane until she's tipped over the edge. Can we please move on from this? It only drives everybody into this rabbit hole. And Diane is still in good with Jack and her son. And for the record, the catalyst in this whole thing is not Jack nor Jabot, it's actually Kyle. But nobody sees that as the person to actually have a target against. And if Diane is as bad as everybody say she is, she's going to mess up on her own. And I, for one, boy, Tucker, you know what? This is going to blow up in your face. I mean, Ashley is using you. Uh, Tucker leaves. Heather shows up saying that she's on the case now because Michael had to go to Singapore to deal with his mom. She told her Daniel urged her to step in. Now, Daniel and Summer shows up and Phyllis said that she was ready to turn herself in. Heather notified Chance. Phyllis sashayed down to the lobby and Chance handcuffed her. And of course, we see Cricket. Oh, yeah, she's smiling from here to the moon and back. So now we're over at Lily's penthouse now, and her and Daniel are having a little bit of intimate time settling into the new pad. 
While they're having a little kissing session between the two of them, which I obviously don't see any chemistry between those two, Nate shows up as being the friendly new neighbor slash cousin with a bottle of wine, and he's just trying to make amends with his cousin. However, as for Lily, she's like, yeah, I haven't forgot what you've done. And he's like, well, wait a minute. How is it that everybody else forgot what Devon has done, but nobody forget what I has done? And if you can't respect my new girlfriend, maybe this is over for us. And Lily was looking at her like, wow, you're enamored with Victoria. And he was like, yeah, I am. You need to respect that. So now we're over at the Abbott Estate where Diane wants to talk to Kyle about his marriage saying, look, it can't be over. And I don't even know why Diane is even fighting so hard for this i mean obviously she don't know that kyle has slept with audra and yeah i think her mom and her left you in jail diane okay he told her that his wife burned their marriage to the ground and i agree with that kyle can't understand why how she keeps fighting for summer when she is clearly like her mom he told her he needs to get through this all on his own and not to worry about him. Everything calmed down between the two. They had a little mom and son moment. And all of a sudden, Diane gets a text message. It came from Tucker. And that should have been a red flag right there. Where he sent a picture of Phyllis being arrested and Summer at her side. And I honestly thought Summer would be arrested too, but I guess that comes later. And Kyle was like, yep, there's Summer right by her mom's side. See, mom, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Now, as much as Diane is smiling about this whole situation, this is just the beginning, Diane, because... Yeah, Phil is about to get out, and uh, yeah, the reign of terror is going to begin with the help of Ashley and Tucker. Okay, so there you have it, your Young and the Restless recap for Friday, July 14, 2023. Stay tuned for the Bold and the Beautiful recap also for today. And until the next video, like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you next time. Bye! Bye!